What color is that? Blue. No. Good job. What's a player to you? Let's define it at the beginning of the video. Literally, I think it's literally like defined as like you playing the game. Legit, know what you're doing. You, you playing. Like it's you legit play, that. You literally play games with people. It's nothing. Nothing serious. It's a game to you. Now you're saying, you know, you're laying out the. That's a game. And the people is like your pawns in the game. Exactly. That's the best way to think about it. People are your pawns. You gotta, you know, see which ones you can sacrifice at certain times. <laughs> Why do people play? What's the point of being a player? That's it. I discovered this recently. This is why I wanted to do this video. I feel like me is a defense mechanism. Instead of me going for something, I actually like have to put emotion and real feelings for it and like be vulnerable. That's scary. So I'm like, nah, I just go play over here because it's easier. I can leave and walk away anytime I want. I can damn near control what's happening. It's just like you get what you want out of it without getting nothing. Yeah, I mean, for me personally though, I mean, it I just depends on. It depend on the phase and life that I'm in, like shit. That's true. That shit just fun. Sometimes, you know, some people just want to have fun. And it's not necessarily like you always playing people just because, you know, you, you're like a womanizer, you have a lot of women. It's just the fact that you just genuinely want to have fun with different people. Like everybody go through that player phase, like. I feel like they do. I mean, you need it, in my opinion. You need it. I, I personally think so too, because I feel like that's how you kind of dibble and dabble and figure out what you want, what you don't want. This is my story. So I was a player, and then I got caught and I fell in love, and then I got my heart broken. But go back to the play phrase, I broke multiple hearts. So that's why I'm telling y'all, karma is real. And then for a year, I wasn't like fucking nobody. I was just really just trying to figure out me. After that year, I went wow. And now I'm like, oh shit, I think I want to chill. Like I said, I went through more player phase too. Man, I had a couple girlfriends or whatever like that. Yeah, shit, I got my heart broke. And that's when you learn yourself, right? Right. There. And you learn that you can't just be out here playing with people. So, like you said, I took a year off to just to get to know myself. And now, I kind of want to do better, you know what I'm saying? It sounds here it as well. No, but it's the truth. <laughs> I feel like in the back of players' minds, they always know what they want. You know exactly what you want and what you're doing. That's the thing about it. Nobody can accidentally be a player. Like, <laughs> like that shit don't make sense. That shit is very conscious. I didn't know. I was trying to play the dumb role. I didn't know that I wasn't supposed to be fucking this bitch while I'm fucking you. <laughs> oh, I don't lie, but I don't tell whole truths. That's how I play. Like, I know what to say to keep them still around, but like... I be letting know that it's not on you. 80% of the truth. Like, yeah, y'all consider that a lot of them? What? It's yeah, it's still a lot. Uh, it's still a lot. <laughs> Damn, that's a good one, though. You gotta really think about it. Because you tell them the truth, they just don't see what's behind that. <laughs> it's a whole it's slap coming. <laughs> He just said a key thing, though. I kind of want to point that. Is that, the, is that the truth or is it a lie? Like, if you don't oh. tell the whole truth. Just give an example. Me? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, so I was messing with somebody and I just peeped in the scene. We got on that, but he like for real like me. I knew that he for real like me, but I kind of let him know I'm fucking with other people. But like, I didn't say I'm fucking with other people. I was just like, I think I worded like, I like somebody else. Mm -hmm. All right, well, that's enough, see, that's enough. So I feel like yeah, that's valid. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't be like, it's valid. Yeah, yeah. It's valid only if he ever asked you, are you fucking with other people and you told him no. <laughs> Exactly. So it's so, like, yeah, because if you say it's true, but just not exactly. giving the details. So right. that, in that instance, yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say. Now that. I feel like you trying to say somebody said. So Jeremy, where was you at? <laughs> yeah. And instead of saying you was at so and so house, you like, oh, I was just out with Sammy and Keys. Knowing that, yeah, you was out with Sammy and Keys, yeah. then you left Sammy and Keys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just starting off from that, like, what? Where do y'all think the phase is to where somebody can question you about your whereabouts? And that's a good question because. You can't just go out, out of the gate just, just be like, like crazy. Hey, is it is it it's about communication though, right? Because right. yes. I think we can get misconstrued on the vibe. Like, yeah, we doing our list, but it really ain't like that. Cause it definitely needs to be communicated, and, like clarify what y'all not doing and what y'all. Like. It's, it's a, a timely thing with me. Like you can you can be doing that shit out the gate. Right, that's true. Yeah, not out the gate. You don't have the no. credentials with me. <laughs> <laughs> you have no right we to question where I was. We don't have enough rapport. You feel me? You said when is the time when y'all communicate that this, that yeah. okay, yeah. like this is going on. Say things, you just meet somebody, right? And they be like, what's your intentions? Did y'all ever come across that? Like, out the gate, what you on? Like, what you looking to do? What's your learning time? I don't, I don't know. even know how to answer that. I mean, for me personally, though, I know when I first meet somebody, 
damn near 75% of my intentions. And like, you know, talking to the person, when you really learn about the person, you know, redirect you on other, you know, areas, but yeah. like, when I meet a girl, you kind of get that good vibe from them. I, you probably think like that. I might really want to get to know her off bat. Or if you meet a girl who just, mm -hmm. you know, got the characteristics, physical characteristics. And, and the characteristics. I just want to crack. You feel me? I get so, you. like, I don't know. I kind of get that intent when I first meet somebody off bat. That's, That's what I was That's trying to say. Thing. When you first meet somebody, they got a whole different person. They got a, they, they showing you, know, you the best. Impress, right? They're not showing you that real person. That's why you have to pay attention to the vibe. I pay attention to the feeling I get when I'm around people. Because if I went just off what somebody is showing me or saying out their mouth, I'm not going to really get who they fully is as an essence. So I go off vibes. Vibration yeah. is my thing. It's a certain vibe I'm going to feel from you off rip where I'm going to know like whether or not I'm going to take this serious or not. And even like when you're talking to somebody, even if they were putting up a front, certain genuine conversations, like you could really infiltrate their mind and kind of just... Period. See how they're trying to portray this, uh, themselves. Yeah, if you're really like a detail-oriented person, it'd be easy to kind of, you know, gain that transparency with them and just right. see through all that. Oh, well, yeah, that definitely makes sense. I don't know. I got to learn that shit for real. Because I'll be meeting people. I don't know. Have, have a genuine conversation with them. You'll see. You'll yeah. see. Just pay attention to, like, just everything. Right. The niggas I've been encountering lately be trying to also, like, cuff shit, and I'm not on that. Usually I would normally just be playing until I get done. Lately, I, before I even get anywhere, like letting them know like, nah, I feel like this is where you want to go and this is not where I'm trying to go. Just so I avoid wasting their time and I avoid wasting my own time because that's what I feel like I've been doing. If I'm going to be 100%, I'm going to be 100% and if I'm not, I'm going to just leave it alone. Bro, like I'm trying to move forward, like I'm done playing games. Y'all ever found yourself in a situation where like you didn't think you would be? It just kind of felt like, man, like, I don't know what to do. What you mean, like, you gotta come clarify that a little bit more? So, say, like, you messing with somebody, but, like, you ended up, you end up kind of liking them a little bit. Like, your original <laughs> intent yeah. wasn't that. It was just right. to really have fun and then well, turn into something else. At the yeah, same yeah, time, you, you're not looking for that. something serious. So, now you just feel kind of stuck. Yeah. And they put you in a situation where, like, we either gonna fuck with each other the long way or we not. Now you really feel stuck. Because, damn, this started from, this started was fun. Like, we <laughs> both doing our own thing. And now she's trying to, you know. But that, so, what are you doing in those situations? How do you keep going with the flow? That's what I do. I keep going with the what vibe. What is the flow? You know? the flow? See, that's a good one because. Because what is the vibe? What's the flow? That them questions going are gonna arise. Yeah, that's bro. true. Right. You've only go with the flow for so long, and I believe me, it's a long time, but it comes to an end. <laughs> it's a long ass river. She gonna get to hear you. So what? What? What are we? Like? Yeah. Once you get yeah. with the what are we? I don't think I ever had anybody say that to me. What are we? But I definitely had niggas get in their feelings on me. They get in their feelings but try to make it like they not in their feelings. Like they try to downplay their feelings, but they tripping. So it's like, if it's not shit, why you tripping then? I got into arguments and I still didn't know what the basis of the argument was. And I like said some slick shit like, so you mad because woo woo. And then they, mad because what? No. First of all, woo woo. I don't know about y'all, but I don't feel like y'all be wanting us to like point out with y'all. I don't think about anybody would real. like that though. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, motherfucker, don't tell me what I'm women, mad at. Right? Like, women got a way up. of making you mad like that. They know how to push your buttons. Y'all got y'all be like, that's the button that's gonna piss them off. <laughs> <laughs> that's women they got you no, figured out. No, period, bro. Right. They got you figured out. <laughs> if they feel like if it's something where it's like a battle of something, just whatever, anything, they're gonna Especially go. Especially when you win it. Uh, <laughs> man, when, <laughs> when, when we win it, that's when y'all go blow the belt. Ha! <laughs> It's just the win the fucking like, so Y'all try to make us mad and then y'all flip it. Like now we saying we, we trying to apologize for making y'all mad because y'all just said some shit to us that made us mad. Which is what I say. I mean, yeah, I be open That's the with truth. Things. I don't care. That's true. I don't agree with that though. That's what I was gonna say. I don't agree with that tactic. I don't agree with manipulative behavior, especially emotional manipulation. So okay. That goes back to how do you view being a player and how could how can you That's the emotional <laughs> manipulation, isn't it? Exactly. 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 You had your player phase. So it's kind of conflict of interest. In the moment when I was doing a player phase, I knew it was wrong, but I found reasons to justify why I was doing it. There's <laughs> always gonna be a reason. <laughs> it's like, all, if you want it to be a reason, it's gonna be one. <laughs> I wanna dig. But <laughs> I'm chilling. I was looking for Adobe, my roommate. I started talking to them. Let's come up from behind me, grab me by my waist. Oh no, that's a sensitive area. So I said, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so then I left, I was, he followed me to the cute house. I'm like, all right. See, I'm only gonna play this game for so long. Like, I'm not gonna keep. <laughs> you know, I always give nigga like three strikes all the time. <laughs> 
Yeah, one more time. <laughs> yeah, one more time. First was the waist, then he followed her. One more strike. <laughs> she gonna fuck his life up. <laughs> mm -hmm. How are you? Going back to the topic. Back to it. Hey, well, have y'all been through a heartbreak? Yeah, that said. shit hurt. Everybody been through a heartbreak, man. How did it feel? It was very painful. That shit just feel, you feel helpless just because it's not you can do about it. What shit. makes it so hard? Is it okay? Is it uh? Putting all your happiness into this person, or you so used to them, it's like a habit that it, it feel you like, damn, what I do next? Like, For me, it's like, bro, you know, us as men, feeling helpless is the worst thing. You lose your woman, and you know she's not coming back, no matter how much you ask, no matter how much you try, you just know it's over, mm -hmm. and you don't want it to be, and there's nothing you can do about it. That's a strong feeling for a man, goddamn. Because it's just like, damn, I'm helpless. Well, most of the time, when she breaking your heart, like, she don't care about you if you know you think she do. Cause you damn near the one that, that's wrapped around their finger. I feel it. Every man was that lovey dovey dude in high school when they got their first girl. When they got their first girl, they was head over heels all the time, always just in their face doing all this. <laughs> and then you get that heartbreak, you like, damn, you take note of all that. <laughs> Maybe this next girl I need to, you know, tone it down a bit, you feel me? But you, you protect yourself, you can't. When you first start getting into relationships and shit, a lot of people don't even know themselves. Like, how you gonna expect somebody else to love you like you gonna both to love yourself exactly because you teach people how to treat you we do that yeah. unconsciously too like yeah. we literally show people how to treat you i think to me where that comes in because like trust is a big thing to me like vulnerability i be kind of looking at it the wrong way like i be knowing not to look at it as a weakness but oftentimes i be feeling like it's a weakness so mm -hmm. it's hard for me to be vulnerable my worst nightmare is to be like betrayed i thought i was safe here and now i realize i'm not safe that's to me what makes the heartbreak painful. And that's the thing about love. Everything in life is a sacrifice. You gotta sacrifice that vulnerability. Like, and that's something a lot of people can't do, even me. Like, fuck it's that. Like, like, I don't even wanna show nobody my weakness. But letting yourself just fall in love to me has been the most beautiful experience I have experienced in life. Falling in love anything, is but... like, I feel like people, it is definitely a risk. And in my case, it ended resulted in heartache but i still wouldn't undo it because the feeling i felt was worth it you know I mean, you know it's real it's love. indescribable oh, just no, love. man because i don't like that we said it wasn't meant to last though but that don't mean the love wasn't real okay real love to me is something you feel it's not something that you right. explain or put into words it's a ability to connect with somebody on a deeper level than just the surface. It's out of body. So when you feel that, that's to me what love is. It's not just something that you come across every day. So do you feel like you've been played more times or have you done more playing for both of no, you? I play way yeah. more though. I definitely cheated. Not a lot, but I cheated though. And I got cheated on. Cheated. Trying to read with yourself? Maybe if we had less players, we would have more love. And I, was like, That's I don't true. know what's going on now. Like, That's I always true. talk about this, but this generation suck at love. The problem is, it's like social media makes things that shouldn't be glorified, glorified. So you got bitches running around talking about city girls, fuck niggas. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, couple of, like, those. This is how we need to be, baby. Exactly. Like, what the fuck don't compare us to them? Like, you, don't, don't do so that. Much. We, we us. They them. Right. Don't want to your face all day. You also got to find security within the person or the relationship that y'all have established. And I feel like social media, people put too much security within a social media image and not putting mm -hmm. their focus into what is behind the social media image. Mm. And you quote that. Is this still on? No, for real. Because that's the truth. At the end of the day, we put too much emphasis on fucking social media. So like when they get those that retweets, validation. that's that satisfaction right. feeling. And you let, like that's what it is, bro. When you post your shit on, on social media and you're really like, a t a, you know, attention, you're, you're thirsty for attention, mm -hmm. you're letting other people validate y'all relationship. Yeah. <laughs> that shit just hella fake and hella lame. <laughs> I mean, could you be in a relationship where it wasn't like social media centric, like y'all didn't really post each other? No, because- I promise y'all, my next nigga, y'all ain't gonna see shit until I got a ring on my finger and I'm telling y'all we gonna get married. That's all, I don't, you know, right. I, you know, I don't, I don't post things in general for real. So like, you know, like some people just really care about wanting to be seen and wanting to be known. Like, and some people are just very private people. I feel like you can't really tell somebody it's wrong or right to feel like it should be valid, but it should just be something that y'all gonna have to come to a consensus on if y'all willing to compromise for the other one. Which that's to me, that's what love really should be about is compromising for the other. So. Right. 
maybe with your business, you like, mm, I don't really post my personal life. But every now and then I'll drop a picture just so it's not completely taking over my what, what I consider my livelihood, which is my social media. But it's enough to satisfy her what she feel like she being shown off. If that's important to you to validate how she feel and vice versa. By the way, I don't care we calling ourselves together, friends with benefits, not friends, we homies, we padres, whatever the fuck we call ourselves. As long as we know what it is with one another. But I definitely want to be married. I definitely want to be like, I am married. This is my husband. Cool so titles kind of do matter. I think maybe the titles Beneficial. we use is wrong, but you gotta think about it. If you, your name Jeremy, my name Lamonte. You, you wouldn't just describe Jeremy like who's Jeremy? This dude named Jeremy. You wouldn't say that. You would say my friend. Like right. a title. Exactly. Right. That's what nobody mean. knows what the hell got going on. Like Monte can say I'm his friend, yeah, I'm his homie, but like nobody can just know what we went through or what right, right. nobody can live through that. So. Like, but you also not just saying that he's just nobody to you. Yeah. So the title serves its purpose of differentiating the relationship between one another. That's true. I mean, because it's like levels. And there's not enough emphasis on like the bond and the vibe that y'all feeling, because that's what really matters more than the title. You can be in a relationship, yeah, that's my girlfriend, but yeah, you can be cheating on her, that ain't real. You that's know? definitely true. Like, yeah. the title can definitely not hold the same weight that it's yeah. hope that it signifies exactly. if the actions behind it don't exactly. match. Exactly, that's mm -hmm. what it is. My mm -hmm. whole thing, why even put titles on things? When you not committed to a foot, who's being um, appeased? Wait, 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 wait. Say it again, peas. Go ahead. Like, <laughs> time on. You said pee. <laughs> what are we talking? Who feels like? It's selfish. I mean, shit. They just want the best situation for them. Why they can have the other best situation for them. Yeah. Um, you tell somebody just to, you know, get them under your arm and then you, you go back and you tell up for other person something else. You know, that's exactly what a player is. So a lot of niggas are selfish. And mm -hmm. we know we're selfish. What what extent would you stop fucking with somebody you just even as a player, as being in a relationship? See, nowadays I feel like we too quick to cut some shit off. Like I say, it's like, it's like way too quick. Like because we've been like conditioned kind of even with like social media instantaneous connections like the episode of black mirror when they was able to like black people and then you could you could blur out right. their face that shit's fucked up can you imagine <laughs> you think you could love somebody in cheek yeah mm. men can women mm. i definitely like if i'm in love with you i'm not really looking at other niggas if i mess with somebody else it's because i'm not satisfied 100 percent with just you know love. that's true that's true and do you think men think like that or do you think we just just stupid? I personally feel like if you truly do love that woman, not saying that you won't ever fuck up, you gonna always make a conscious effort to not mess up, then not then be careless. Like it's not gonna be like, oops, I fucked up again, oops, I mean I just nah, like it's gonna be consistent, like you not messing up. So do you think and men are like wired to a program like that, or do you think that's something society has made it to be? I'm pretty sure everybody can agree like men do cheat more than women. Women cheat better than men. Y'all cheat way better. Cheat. Not to say that there aren't women that aren't just as carnally driven as men, mm -hmm. but in general they're more emotionally driven. Like, I don't want to call men weaker. I feel, yeah. yeah, I feel like our minds are more easily influenced or easily tainted than women. She a hoe. Mm. Exactly. He, he, he got all the hoes. And I feel like the reason why <laughs> men reward that is because shit, that's the way we that's the way they were born to think. So it's just like, damn, you doing that? Like, Definitely is some systematic lifestyles that are validated more so than others. It's a male dominated society where like things that are satisfactory to a male even at the expense of a woman is validated. So that's why I always think women are more divine than us. Anything that the society show us is always flipped around, is reversed. Mm -hmm. I mean, man, we just have more have that physical dominance, but mentally, y'all got it. Let's see around the world. It does. Oh, all right, did y'all ever see Chirac, the movie? Yeah. yeah. I like the message in the movie. Right. That's what I'm gonna say. The message was is valid. If women held men to a higher standard, we would definitely do it, period. It's love. Everything is fueled by love. For a fact. And we don't see that. It's a disconnect. Yeah. You want to feel For desire fact. and value exactly. by another human being. Everybody knows, exactly. Everybody knows feeling desired and valued and wanted. It's yeah. just, that's, that's a great That's answer. what we all want. That's the thing record. Yeah. I was like, I feel like. <laughs> yeah, why are we doing it at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> it's on. <laughs> I'm not judging nobody that get work done. Like, like that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. And it's just my opinion that. If you get in there, that's a form of like self-love that's lacking somewhere. Exactly. It's insecurity. It's insecurity. Like mom just make you feel like you're not good enough just because your lips ain't big enough, your booty ain't big enough. That mm -hmm. shit ain't valid. 
Yeah. 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 Come on, Cotton. Get your bow, boy. <laughs>